Hello guys and welcome to another video. So today we look at Lubuntu 23.10. This here is a login screen. Uh, immediately after installation, this is what you're greeted with. You can choose your session here. We have uh, Lubuntu, LXQT Desktop and OpenBox. Uh, but let's go with the default one. So I'm going to input my password right here. And we are in. This is a desktop. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is that uh, you are prompted to update your system so so far we have uh, 119 packages that can be upgraded i don't intend to install them but for your case you should install them as soon as possible these updates are very important for me let me cancel now before you proceed any further let's get the basics out of the way lubuntu is a linux operating system it's based on ubuntu the one I have here, I mentioned earlier, it's Lubuntu 23.10 and it's based on Ubuntu Mantic Minotaur. Uh, it uses the lightweight LXQT desktop as the default one. And for the window manager, we have OpenBox. To check those details, just go to, you can just check from your terminal. The terminal should be under system and terminal. And if I run NeoFetch, I should get all the information the name of the operating system are the kernel right here 6.5 or the desktop environment lxqt 1.3 and window manager is open box now let's close this one in case yours doesn't pick neofetch automatically you can still download it just run sudo apt install neofetch and we close that one so this Lubuntu 23.10, it's an interim release. It does not follow the standard LTS. So there will be the LTS version that should be Lubuntu 24.04 and should be released any time from now. As the time of making of this video, it's not already out. It's not out yet. Now, talking about the one I have right here, Lubuntu 23.10, it follows the non-standard uh, LTS support and has a support of uh, about nine months. So it will be supported up until July of 2024. Let's now explore what we have in terms of uh, packages and the system. So this is the start uh, button right here. You got all your applications right here, the ones you can launch. Now, some of the pre installed apps we have uh, Featherpad. This is the, I believe, the text editor for the moment. You can install other text text editors like uh, Gedit and such, or Kate if you want. We also have Vim as a text editor. Then for graphics, uh, we don't have GIMP. You can download that one, I believe, through the terminal or the software center. I uh, will get to that one later. Uh, in terms of browsers, we only have Firefox which is great. If you want Chromium, you can download it as well. In terms of Office, we have a LibreOffice pre-installed, unlike uh, a few other distros which do not have LibreOffice. So LibreOffice is already there. If you want alternatives, you can look for OpenOffice and download it if you like. And for sound and video, we have VLC Media Player. It's a very nice media player for playing your videos and audios. It supports all kind of video formats and audio formats, ranging from MP3, MP4, MKV, you name it. On the system, we have this Discover, which is now the software center for the Lubuntu OS. Now, from here, you can download whichever apps you want i mentioned earlier that we don't have gimp it's right here you can download it a vlc is installed Krita is right here and a few other apps i uh, this is a drop down terminal you can download it if you want and then you check through the categories and find well, whichever apps you are looking for and you can also update your system from here if you scroll all the way to the bottom over here you see updates 
and here are the apps that need to be updated it needs around 652 mb so you can update all of them from over here in the same way you can open the terminal and run sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade and uh, system tools again we have the htop and then we also have the qps i believe they do the same thing they just show you whatever processes are running on your system and how much resources they are using then we have the kd partition manager this one should be used to manage or control adjust partitions on your system be careful with this one you don't want to mess with your installation files i can see i only have one partition i'm on a virtual machine obviously so if i interfere with this partition i will lose my installation file and the os won't boot so be careful with this one we have uh, the terminal we have the qt terminal and then the q terminal drop down right here now it looks like the usual terminal just placed at the top and if you drag it from there it disappears what a weird implementation of a drop down terminal now if you go to preferences you can check your lxqt settings so in case your display has you have a big screen and the resolution is not looking great just come over here and go to monitor settings and then adjust your resolution to match your screen so mine is okay i adjusted it earlier after installation and appearances that's where you adjust your widgets icons and themes and so forth and then we have the advanced drivers this one is very common on uh, most ubuntu based os's let me put my password here so this one allows you to download your proprietary wi-fi and blue drivers if they are not working right away so if you're installing on real hardware you should be able to get your bluetooth and wi-fi drivers from here in case in my case i'm on a virtual machine so it is displaying nothing if in your case it doesn't display anything you can close the app make sure you have a good connection open the app again and check for the drivers if we go to advanced network configuration there's nothing there we have apply full upgrade this one should upgrade your system and then we have these kde settings uh, which is kind of weird because we saw earlier that there's no mention of kde desktop in here the desktop environment we saw it's LX lxqt the window manager is open box so why do we have kde settings here uh, there isn't much to this kde settings just a few settings i believe it's a portion of kde settings that have been incorporated in here to add a little bit of functionality with the organization of the desktop and such you can see your open box settings remember open box is the window manager so here you can change themes appearance fonts and such even the docs we don't have a dock do we no you can adjust the number of uh, desktops remember we only have one two three and four you can even increase it to five or reduce it to two if you want uh, let's give it back to four and forget about that one that's about it for that one then we go to the software sources software sources this one is linked to the additional drivers is just the same software sources we saw earlier about lxqt you can check details about the lxqt desktop so far the version we have here is 1.3 and on the taskbar at the bottom we have the file manager right here we haven't seen this one and then on the far right we have the usual volume connection and then date and calendar now if you want you can rearrange the desktop icons just click and drag them anyhow then we have the lubuntu manual if you are new to the all lubuntu os i believe it's a full guide on 
everything you need to know about Ubuntu. You can read it for yourself and try to figure out where you don't understand. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs up. Still, uh, subscribe to the channel and catch you guys on the next one.